Hey everyone, my name is David, and today I'm going to walk you through how to set up a token gated Shopify store using the Manifold Merch Bridge app. So in the end, it's going to look something like this. You're going to have a product that you have configured a product gate on. Someone with that token can come in, uh, claim a discount based on the token, and then go to the cart. They see that there is a discount applied and there's an NFT being used, and then they can check out with NFTs. And a draft order is created. They're allowed to check out and the discount is applied. So we're going to run through how to do this. So some prerequisites. First off, you're going to need a Shopify account with a Shopify um, store linked, and there has to be at least one product on the store, the uh, product you want to token gate. And then you're going to want to know what token or tokens you want someone to have to get the discount or to get access to your product. And there's three steps along the way. So first, you're going to have to configure the product on your store. The second step is you're going to have to create a product gate using the Manifold Merge Bridge app. And the third is you're going to have to configure your online store with some of our Manifold app blocks. And there's also written instructions for this in our Manifold docs. So you can just go to docs.manifold.xyz. You're going to want to come to developers and then Shopify Merge Bridge. And we're pretty much going to follow these steps in the tutorial here. Cool. So um, let's get started. I'm going to start from scratch, create a new store, add some products, and create the token gate so you don't need to have any knowledge um, otherwise. And yeah, let's begin. So first, I'm going to come to Shopify.com slash partners, and I'm going to log into my partners.shopify account. Cool. Now I'm going to create a new development store. Let's create a store to test and build. Let's, we're going to call this um, video tutorial MD for Merge Bridge. We can use the latest build. Let's actually start with some test data. This is just so Shopify has some products in our store preloaded, and we can just get going a little faster. I'm going to click Create Development Store. I'm going to wait for that to finish. Awesome. So now our store has been created, as you can see, video tutorial MV. And now we can go into the products. We can see that Shopify has created some products for us. We're going to click into the product we want to be token gated. And if you want to create your own product, you can just click this Add Product and fill out the form and hit Save, and your product will be there. So we're going to select this videographer snowboard. That's going to be the product we want to token gate in this example. So as you can see, everything is pretty normal. And all we need to do for the first step is on this product type, we are going to type manually type in Manifold with a capital M. And that's all we need to do for the product. So that um, completes step one. Now we're going to download the Merch Bridge app and create a, a product gate, step two. So we're going to go back to the store we made. We're going to go to apps and we are going to look for Manifold in the app store. This, it's going to be Manifold Merch Bridge. We're going to install the app onto our store. This is what it's going to look like. Um, all you have to do is press install app. And cool. So if you see this welcome screen, you're going to have successfully installed the app. And let, now let's create a product gate. So we're going to go to new product gate. So we're going to call this snowboard gate. We're going to set a start date of right now. And we're going to select no end date. So a little heads up here. If you're going to be using any ERC-1155 tokens, then you're going to need to select the snapshot option. Um, this is just necessary because ERC, there's no way to track whether a certain uh, ERC-1155 token has been used unless you do the snapshot. So I'm just going to use a ERC-721, so I do not need this. 
Cool. So I've created the campaign or the product gate, and now I need to add my product onto the gate. So we want this to be an exclusive product. We're going to select the videographer snowboard that we had. We're going to press add, and it's there. So now we're going to create a rule on the product gate. So this is the part where you're going to need to know what token and specifically what network that token is on and what to what the contract address is for the token that you want to provide a discount for or provide access to your product um, for. So I have this Ethereum 721 contract. I am going to just find the contract address and I'm going to copy that. And once again, this is on mainnet. So I'm going to go back to the rules. As you can see, we allow for a few different networks, but we're just going to use Ethereum mainnet for this. And I'm just going to paste in that contract address. I want to select all tokens. Um, you can do a specific token, an ID range, or um, even by attribute. I want to set this discount in this example to 100%. And then I'm going to press add. Cool. So now I see the product and the rule. So that completes step two, creating a product gate. Now all we have left to do is to configure your online store. So that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> so back in your store, we're going to go to online store. So on this themes page, we want to make sure uh, we're using one of the new online store 2.0 Shopify themes. So we can use any of these. Let's try to let's download sense. So we're going to download that and make sure wait for that. But yeah, you basically just want to make sure it's a version 10.0 um, on a non vintage theme. So we're going to publish this <clears throat> and then we're going to click customize. So this is the Shopify theme editor and we're going to add a few app blocks, one on the product page and two to the cart page. So we're going to go to products. You can just use this default product and we're going to go to this section product information and we're going to click add block. And then we're going to use manifold buy buttons. Um, and when that's loaded in, we're going to drag it up to the buy buttons. And you don't have to worry about hiding this, um, the manifold buy buttons. If the product is configured correctly in the previous two steps where you've added the type manifold and you have a product gate on it, then this manifold buy button automatically replaces the buy buttons. But um, if you have other products on your store that aren't token gated, then this will get hidden on those pages. And then just to kind of show that what it's going to look like while we go through it, I'm going to connect my wallet within this and just create um, a redemption and add a product into my cart. You don't have to do this, but it just um, is more visible if you do. So now that we've added the block on the product page, we're going to go to the cart page and add a couple blocks there. So in subtotal, we need to add a block and we're going to add manifold checkout buttons. And that is going to replace the normal checkout buttons if there's a token gated product in your cart. The other part we need to do is add a section, click apps, and then do a manifold items cart. We're going to drag this new section called apps up to where items is. And this time we actually are going to hide the previous items section. Cool. And that's it. All we have to do now is press save and we can go to our store and see it working in action. So I'm going to go back to my themes. I'm going to click view your store and it's going to take me to the URL for my store. I'm going to go into the cabinet log. Oh, it's since we already added it to the cart, it's already here, but I'm going to press clear cart for now and just show you that it's working. 
So I'm going to go into a product that isn't token-gated and show that the normal buttons are there. I can add to cart. Um, it's the normal $24.95. But then we're going to go to that videographer snowboard that we token-gated. We're going to connect our wallet. We're going to apply a discount. We're going to click one of these tokens that we have a discount on. And we're going to come to the cart page. And we can see that the cart includes the non-token-gated product, the token-gated product, as well as the NFT that is used and the discount that we'll see at checkout. And then we can click checkout with NFTs. And then voila, we have our draft order that the token holder will see. They have their discount on the item that is token gated. And they have, if they've wanted to include a normal product, they can include it. And that shows up normally. So yeah, as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. And you can get your store set up in just a few minutes. Thanks.